So the first question, what does it say? A, B and C, D are two parallel chords of a circle lying on the opposite side of the center and the distance between them is 17 centimeter. The length of A, B and C, D are 10 centimeter and 24 centimeter respectively. The radius in centimeter of the circle is and the given answer options are 13, 9, 18 and 50. All right. So what do we do? Try to draw the diagram, right? It's all about getting the right diagram. You must be able to draw the correct figure there uh, for you to solve such questions easily, right? So understand what, what, what it says. A, B and C, D are two parallel chords, right? These are two parallel chords lying on the opposite side of the center of a circle, right? So basically there is a circle, right? And here's the center, let's say. Now there are two chords, A, B and C, D, which are parallel and they lie on the opposite side of the center. So let's say this is chord AB and uh, this is chord CD, right? Remember, you need to take them on the opposite side. So this is A. Okay, here we have chord AB, the first one, AB, and this is chord CD, all right? Then he says the distance between them is 17 centimeter, right? So basically, if you, uh, you know, try to draw a line here. This distance is given as 17 centimeter. Distance between the two parts is 17 centimeter. Remember, this was the center, right? This is the center O. Okay. Now, the length of AB and CD are 10 centimeter and 24 centimeter, respectively, right? So, AB is what? 10 centimeter, right? So, this is 10. This length is 10. And CD, the length CD is 24. All right. Now, the point here is from the center, if you draw a line joining A, right? And similarly from the center, draw a line joining C. What are these two lines indicating here? These are nothing but the radius of the circle, right? This is radius R and this also is radius R because from the center to any point on the circumference will be equal to the radius. So OA and OC are both the radius, right? OA equals to OC equals to R, right? And a very important property that we know about chords and circle is that from the center, when you drop a perpendicular on any chord, it will bisect the chord, right? You're dropping a perpendicular. So perpendicular means what? It makes an angle of 90 degrees. Similarly, from the center, we are dropping a perpendicular on the chord CD. So it makes an angle of 90 degrees, right? It will, we are dropping a perpendicular. So basically these two will be perpendicular to each other, the chord and the uh, line joining the center to the point on the chord, right? And the property here is any line which is dropped from the center to the chord will bisect the chord. Bisect the chord means what? The first half is 5 and second half is also 5. Similarly, here it is 12 and this is 12. You're getting it? 24 can be divided into two equal parts, right? It will bisect the chord. So 5, 5, 12, 12, right? That's it. Now we have got two triangles here. Let, let me give some uh, nomenclature, right? For example, let's say this is these points here on the chords are E and F, E and F. So basically, AE will be 5, EB will be 5, right? Actually, AB is equal to 10 and CD is equal to 24. But like I told you, uh, the chord will get bisected by this line, right? By the perpendicular. So bisected means it will get divided into two halves. So first half AE is 5, second half EB is 5. Similarly, on the other part CD, the first half CF is 12 and the second half uh, DF is also 12. That's it. Now, if you look at it, there are two right angle triangles here, right? Like, for example, A, O, E. This is O, A, and E. There's a right angle. We know that this is 5, right? And uh, here is the radius R, right? Here's the radius R. What do we do? See, what we can assume here is the total distance is given as 17. Let us assume from O to E, from O to E, the distance is X. This is X. So what will be this distance? 17 minus x. Are you able to follow? The total distance is 17. So if this is x, the remaining part of it will be 17 minus x. So this is x here. Now, by applying Pythagoras theorem, what do we get? In triangle uh, AEO. Again, I'm writing all the steps like usual. You'll have to cut down uh, when you solve it yourself, right? So in triangle AEO, we can say that r square equals to 5 squared plus x squared. r square equals to 5 squared plus x squared. Similarly, if you look at the other triangle, right, which is the other triangle here, look at the other triangle, it will be uh, OCF, right, OCF. 
let me let me draw it here right this is the triangle this is the point o here we have have f and c so this is 12 and here is r so this is of the length of is what 17 minus x this is 17 minus x to apply pythagoras theorem in triangle uh, ofc what do we get r square equals to 12 squared plus 17 minus x squared that's it so equation one and equation two we have got two equations with two unknowns right what are the two unknowns r and x solve for them and you'll be able to crack it right so by comparing equations one and two what do we get five squared plus x squared equals to 12 squared plus 17 minus x squared so simplify 5 square plus x square equals to 12 square plus 17 square minus 34x plus x square so basically x squared and x squared here gets, gets cancelled you will have uh, 34x equals to 34x equals to 12 square plus 17 square minus 5 square so 12 square 144 plus 17 square is 289 right uh, 289 and minus 5 square right so simplify that will give you 34x equals to 34x equals to 408 408 right so getting it 12 square 144 plus 289 minus 25 289 minus 25 will be uh, 264 264 plus 144 will give you 408 so from this x can be taken as 408 by 34 which comes out to be 12 that's it so now that you have calculated x you can substitute the value here right remember x is equal to 12 you know so find out r so from this we can say r square is 5 square plus 12 square so on simplification you get r equals to 13 so option 1 13 is the correct answer are you able to follow option 1 13 is the correct answer so this is the regular way of solving the question right so you need not draw all these right angle triangles here and do so much of analysis right because i'm explaining it to you it takes a little longer but when you do it yourself knowing all the concepts already it will be much much uh, quicker right you don't have to uh, spend so much of time there right but anyway the point here is in in, in this case even if you try to uh, you know look at the values here say this this length is 5 and this length is 12 and this distance between the two parts is 17 so basically you'll have to split 17 in, see we know that there are two right angle triangles and in both the triangles the hypotenuse is equal to r so just look at this figure Right, just look at this figure it is something like this yes or no e f a c right a and c are the points on circle we know that o a is r and o c is also r right and here a e is equal to 5 c f equals to 12 and we know that the total length e f is equal to 17 right now clearly uh, you know that 5 plus 12 here is 17 right so basically try to split 17 in the same ratio 5 and 12 so but you have to take it the opposite way right this side will take 12 and this side will take 5 so what happens this r square will be 5 square plus 12 square and here r square will be 12 square plus 5 square so if you understand that without writing any of these steps you can understand uh, you can you can say that 17 has to be split as 12 and 5 and the moment you get 12 and 5 the radius can be taken as square root of 12 square plus 5 square all right I hope all of you have followed this, not a very uh, complex one, but a little different from what we have discussed in the videos already. However, the concept remains the same, right? The concept here is from the center, when you drop a perpendicular on a chord, the chord will get bisected, right? It will bisect the chord. 